Alright guys, this is going to be a model review of the 330DL Caterpillar um, excavator. Um, start with, I'll show you what I customized first. Um, this right here is for the thumb that broke, um, or that I'm fixing. Uh, thumb 2 to put the pen through. Uh, it got a cab guard on it. Uh, I did have GPS's on the back, but they broke off. Uh, I'll probably have to fix that too. But, um, on the review, um, the cab, it, it, it's probably more detailed than a lot of them. It got the joysticks, and it got the seat, and the seat actually looks believable in it. Um, you got another few levers in there and stuff, so, other than that, there's not much to see. Um, moving on, it just says Caterpillar right there, and got the 330 DL. Caterpillar logo with the triangle. You got your flectors on each side. About the same on the other side, just cat. Um, get handle, handrail, mirror, and the handrail is metal, which I do like. Got your hoses to your boom and arm. Engine covers. Um, these don't fold up or anything at all, like some do. But uh, it's alright. Arm. It's a pretty good sized boom. The arm is. I like it. Uh. It connects right there, and it does have uh, hoses that connect from this boom to this boom, which I do like because a lot of models don't do it. It's on both sides, but um, I think it'd look better if these were black and right down the exhaust, the auxiliary hydraulics were black. I think it'd look a lot better. Um, my paint has worn off right there, but I'm just going to get a dab of black paint and fix it. Um. It does have a quick coupler on it. Here, let me show you. Uh, the quick coupler, it just has sort of like a little thing where you can put a bar, or the, for the bar to go in, hold on, right there. And just two little sort of hooks right there to hook onto that and pops right in. Um, you got a little, like, hole right there for a chain to lift um uh moving on to the bucket uh you got your sort of wear plates on it, it but there ain't, ain't really plates it just grooves in the bucket um you got your hook up to your bucket uh, right there on a real bucket that little square it would say like cat you got your wear plates i don't i forget their wear plates are sort of digging edges um, this is a five tooth bucket. Um, the bucket will, here, yeah, I'll show you, like, the, how far to go down. Um, it'll go down to about right there, which is pretty cool. It, like, here, when it's sticking off the table, I'll show you. Right there. It'll dig down some. Um, It'll go up to about right there. I don't know, it's probably when it's up against like the pole. Looks about like that. Um, oh yeah, and I'm, the reason I'm doing it outside is because the lighting is better and you can see the colors more better, it pops out. I'm moving on to the tracks. The tracks are metal, which I really, really, really love. Um, but I know Ertl, they make metal tracks, but those aren't like spring loaded, like it is it like down here at the right there it pushes in with and the tracks sort of able to pop out it keeps tension on the tracks which keep them on it better for make not making them fall off and everything um right there you just got your screw to hold it in you ain't got much underneath it just says where it's made north scott and 150s in the serial number and the tracks on this does actually look like real excavated tracks because on like the uh, Volvo 210 review, I have um, the the tracks are just plastic and really skinny, and I don't like that at all. It makes just, but I like the model. Um, 
I have like a jackhammer for it to put on this, but it's in the house and I forgot to bring it out. Um, I'm working on a bucket right now because I'm trying to figure out of what to use. Hold on, for the little pin right there. If anybody has the right size pin or pin that or knows the right size of a pin to fit in that, please comment or message me because I really want to know. Um, uh, yeah, like, like I said, I got a thumb for it. Um, uh, I'm working on a bucket, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish that anytime soon because the pin. Um, I didn't bring any models to really, uh, size it up to or anything like that, but as you can sort of see, it just, if any of y'all got the Komatsu 3, 50 it's about that size or a 300 it's it's sort of in between that um uh, and i was wondering uh i got some money and i was wondering what models i should buy i was thinking about buying the mac granite dump truck and then buying the komatsu 210 with hammer um just leave your comments below or message me and i'll uh have videos up later um just please subscribe and comment